Should, should, I, should I just start off with the crazy shit? Let's go, let's go. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I have a bunch of notes, but like you, Yo, you, it's, it's I don't, I don't usually have notes on me. Yeah, yeah. Like I only do it like if it's something important. Fam. I know, yeah. And this one, this one's a little bit important. I it's know. not important, but it's fucked. Okay, right. okay. So, do you know what disassociation is? Uh, does that mean like uh, just associating yourself outside like a uh, society? Disassociation. So, disassociating yourself to your body. To your body? You ever heard of that? Nah. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something, bro. Okay, okay. All right. Warning first. <laughs> if you guys are the type to get a little bit paranoid about things, maybe you shouldn't listen to this part. Chill. Well, I'm just gonna say it. Okay? I, I get paranoid, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like you. Too. All right. So, damn, I'm really starting off with a heavy one. Oh, okay. listen, listen, listen. You ever watch the movie Fight Club? Yeah, yeah. You know the ending of Fight Club, right? Go did, yeah, go did. So, Fight Club, pretty much what it was, he had this friend, mm -hmm. and throughout the whole movie. His friend was by his side. And his friend, he would do like wild shit. He would do crazy shit all the time. Yeah. And kind of like, quote unquote, like edgier version of himself, right? Mm -hmm. So later on in the movie, he finds out that his friend is actually him. Just his alter ego throughout the whole film. Mm -hmm. So any crazy shit that his friend was doing, it was actually him. But he just disassociated himself from that that alter ego so he thought it was another person because in the whole movie he was like losing sleep like in the beginning of the movie yeah in the beginning of the movie he was losing sleep like he was off like two hours of sleep every night yeah, yeah type yeah. shit right okay so they played off that part first now i looked into it right because i don't get a lot of sleep right I don't get a lot Same. of sleep, especially during like COVID, especially during like lockdown and shit. Yeah. Like we're all on our phones, just like staying up on social media, watching YouTube videos, right? Mm. So I saw this TikTok and they're talking about disassociation. And pretty much what this guy said, he said, it's like thinking yourself outside of yourself. So knowing that this body, this position, this life I'm in right now, mm -hmm. isn't actually what it is. This is just like, what we think it is. So I know it sounds really funny. It sounds really crazy, but listen, yeah. listen. So a lot of people that take, so there's three ways you can activate this association. <laughs> there's three ways. Okay. One way is like smoking a lot of marijuana. Yeah. Yeah. Um, doing like psychedelics, like LSD mushrooms, whatever. Yeah. And losing sleep. Oh shit. So I think I low key started losing a lot of sleep and I started getting these feelings of disassociation. So while I had these feelings of disassociation, right? Mm -hmm. This was like 4 a.m. I'm trying to fall asleep, right? Bro, I started it. I came up with this theory. And then this theory is like, what if our lives, right? Mm -hmm. It's almost as if like it's a video game in a sense where we're the, the character in the game. But whoever picks up the controller is somebody else. So maybe one day you're acting a certain way. The next day you act a little bit different is because it's a different player. Mm. But listen, listen, listen. You know how you know how they say, "Oh, he woke up on the wrong side of the bed today." Yeah, yeah. That's why it's like acting you're moody, like that. You're moody and shit. That's why it's acting like that. <laughs> <laughs> so your personality might change depending on who's playing your game. Now this is like this, a, this is just like a weird way of thinking, but yeah, it, it's a cool theory to yeah, think about. Yeah, it's a cool it, theory, right? <laughs> to me, I don't, I don't believe. I, that but, but listen, listen, right? So, fam, I'm telling you. I started having these feelings like, what if, okay, you know how like a character in a video game, yeah, he doesn't know, he just knows himself. I mean, you know yourself, mm -hmm. right? You know yourself. So you're going to go out, do your thing, yeah. whatever and your job question, is. Not question, not question it. it, not question yeah. it, right? Now, whoever picks, quote unquote, picks up your game, yeah, they're still going to do the same activities as you because it's still your game. <laughs> You get that? But like, like you said, like it, it may be based on different like events because he has a different personality than me. No, you'll still have the same person. Because let's say you play, let's say you play like, um, like Drake's Deception. Okay, okay. Or Assassin's yeah, Creed. Yeah. Okay, okay. If you pick up playing Ezio, you're still Ezio. Yeah. But even though it's some other person, which is someone's control. controlling you. Yeah. So, <laughs> what if, what if this is like just all a simulation? But we will never find out because it's just, it's just like. A character in the, we're we're playing the path that yeah, we're yeah. given. We're playing the path that we're given, regardless of who picks up the controller. Yeah, someone told me that. 
okay, what if that we are in our like that VR, VR reality game? Yeah. And we don't know it. And just when we die, that's our kind of our mind just saying, oh, okay, now you're born. In, like we wake up and shit and we like, okay, now we're in it. Because mm. our brain is like, okay, that whole time we you just thought you were in a in a VR game, but now this is reality. Yeah. So, bro, I don't know, man. It's kind of it's kind of like that. Because listen, like, okay, you remember when we were talking about like sleep positions and shit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How like different sleep positions might might trigger like different um personality traits, mm -hmm. or like it shows like who you might be. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, this kind of went hand in hand with my theory because okay. I'm like, what if sometimes I, I wake up like like back against back against my bed yeah, sometimes yeah. i'll wake up like on my side sometimes i'll wake up on my face right uh -huh. and uh, i feel like depending on how i wake up kind of changes my mood during the day or changes like how i feel would you agree yes or no mm. kind of right a yeah, little yeah, bit yeah, a little kinda, bit because yeah. that's why they say like you woke up on the wrong side of the bed yeah, that's the whole meaning yeah so what if the reason you wake up on the wrong side of the bed it's because it's, it's somebody you, else. <laughs> or you just move while you sleep. Or you just yeah. Okay, yo, yo. So there's this there's this thing <laughs> called the egg theory. You okay. ever heard of that? No. So the egg theory is pretty much that every person has lived the same life. So in a sense of this consciousness yeah. has lived in your body, has okay. lived in your mom's body, has lived in like the person down the street's body. Uh -huh. And over time, eventually the same soul has been passed through throughout thousands of years so this egg theory right it's it's a video on youtube i'll link it to you yeah okay bet. so pretty much what it was is like it was like god right like a celestial being he said okay in order for you to be like me you have to learn first but in order to learn you have to live through everybody in the world mm. so you're gonna live through being a homeless person yeah you're gonna live through being a dictator like hitler oh. you're gonna live through being all of these different types of people and then you can be on my level. Oh, so you think, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> so, so it's like, okay, you have to go through all of these. And then once you, once you complete all that, like experience learning, yeah, you can finally like go up to him. In yeah. Heaven. That's the theory. That's an oh, egg theory. That's cool. So, <laughs> so we all like live the different, same life. different lives, different lives, but like, but we're we, in one, we, we like get these, I guess, different types of pain, different types of experiences. Yeah, right? exactly. Exactly. Mm. So that's why, that's why you hear a lot about like in religion, you say like, oh, we're all connected. Oh yeah, like no matter what religion, they always say that, like that's a big thing. Yeah, that's a that's a big theme is like we're yeah. all connected somehow. There's a, there's some. Uh, uh, I remember I was at the a beach yesterday. Yeah, right. Because I, I was gonna take uh, product pictures for my thing. Mm -hmm. So I was just walking and there was like a little, like where no one was. Yeah. And I looked down and there's a log and then there's like a statue of an elephant. Of an elephant. Right. Yeah. And it was just placed there, right? Mm. And I'm looking at it. I'm like. I probably think I was like, yo, this looks like mad familiar. Like, is it like a, a God type thing? So mm. I looked it up elephant God and it was like Ganesh. Yeah. 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 Right. So I told, I told my friend, he was like, yo, was it placed there or did uh, just randomly? And I was like, yeah. He was like, yo, that's good luck. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. So, and that same day sold out. You feel me? I sold out my hoodies. Word. So I'm like, oh shit. Cause I, there, there was no reason for me to go in that little like, mm. like place and, and see it. And see it. So, so was what, like, what was it? Like a toy, like a statue? No, it was it? a statue yeah. of Ganesh. Yeah. And it, it, like I, someone placed it there? Yeah, yeah. For some reason. Interesting. And, and then I was like, okay, I searched what it was. It's like, okay, Ganesh represents like wisdom, mm. intelligence and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I'm like, but at the same time, my friend was like, that also symbolizes like really good luck. Word. So I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. Because I, I didn't even need to go to the beach that day. Mm -hmm. Yo, what if, what if like our future selves could put like little secrets in the past? To, to like lead oh, us into different that's so fire to lead us into like different paths it's like you know? he knew something was gonna happen good today and it's like yo gavin i'm gonna leave this place. yo so i saw this i saw this video on tiktok right yeah and it's supposedly this uh, supposedly this is a real video okay so this guy he was like walking down the street uh -huh. and then someone tapped him on the shoulder so when he tapped him on the shoulder he like turned around mm -hmm. and just as he turned around this truck was like coming towards him like the back of the truck trailer was yeah. about to hit him. But because he turned around, he was able to see it and he stepped out of the way. So yeah, God's plan. Yeah. The theory, <laughs> the theory goes like that was the person that tapped him on the shoulder uh -huh. was actually him from the future or stopping his death. <laughs> what? Yeah. Whoa. Cause like he was going to die. Like if, if he wasn't tapped on the shoulder, if he didn't look over his shoulder, he would have died. I mean, that's really good luck. You, you seen those videos like of uh, almost dying. Like, yeah. Like a train comes, but like a guy pushes him out of the way. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, those ones. Yo, but this one's so fucked because the guy tapped him and then like ran away. 
Oh, he, like, he just completely he, like, ran? Cut. He like cut, bro. Holy fuck. So it's like he wasn't trying to be seen. And what's he was wearing the exact same clothes as the guy. What? <laughs> yeah, he was wearing the exact same clothes, fam. Nah. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. So so just like I said before, like, let's say, let's say that elephant thing, right? Mm-hmm. In your story. What if it it had no special meaning? Yeah. But your future self knew you would take it a certain way. So that's oh. why they put it there. Word. So it holds no meaning. Yeah. But because you saw it, you associated it with like luck, with prosperity, with whatever. Yeah. So your future self put that in the past. So you would think like that. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you know, in this world, like, like, like strangers to us yeah. are just strangers, right? Mm-hmm. We don't know them. We know our certain group of people. Yeah. What if like, okay, God put those certain people that we know. Like mm-hmm. a, to, on a day to day basis, like this is what's gonna like control it. But all the where we see different strangers, yeah, you feel me? Like I, f- I feel like the strangers we see is almost as if like we're meant to see them, but it's our choice whether we want to interact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because because if we don't interact, they're just another person. You know? Yeah, they're just another person. So that's why it's it, it's in sense kind of like a miracle if you meet somebody. That we meet somebody because yeah. during let's say if it's uh, on the streets, especially. Mm-hmm. Because what are the odds like you came out of that house, out of your house that day yeah, yeah. at that time, right? And then that person came out of the house at that day at that time. Mm-hmm. Maybe they forgot their keys. They went back inside and they came back out. Yeah. Know I mean, everything lines up, right? Mm-hmm. And also it's such a miracle too that you're born there, that you live at this, yeah. in this location, this area. Yeah, fam. So it's kind of a miracle that you guys, like you guys meet. Yeah. Even, even so the, anybody you meet. Yeah. Even the fact that you're born, like you really competed with... <laughs> With a million other sperm cells? Yeah, facts. But, but you're on this earth. Bro, like a lot of people don't understand. Like everyone's like, yo, I want to win the lottery. I want to win the oh lottery. I feel God. so unlucky. Like I'm so yeah. depressed. Like I don't Dog. like like my life. Count your blessings. Bro. You got to you gotta take in. It's a miracle. You won the lottery. If you're alive right now, you <laughs> yeah, won the yeah. lottery. Real shit. That's you know facts. what I mean? That's facts. Because like having life already, having what you have, mm-hmm. being alive already, that's already a blessing. And that's a miracle itself. Facts. It was out of a million, more than a million, life is it, 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 the odds of of living. You won that race, bro. Yeah, it's harder to live than to win the lottery. Yeah, yeah. You know how much sperm was in your dad's nut? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean, bro. yeah, and. Uh, I always think about it like, okay, whenever I don't feel grateful and shit, yeah. I'm like, bro, or, or when I'm lazy, I'm like, okay, I only live one life. I was put, I was, I won that lottery. Mm-hmm. Well, why am I being lazy? You feel me? Why am I wasting my time? Yeah. Like, like, go do some shit, bro. Yeah. Like, that, make it count. That's a, a lot of the time. Like, you'll have those moments where, okay, I'm, I'm on my grind now, right? Yeah. You, yeah. you get a motive. Something motivates you, right? Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, like, something happens where you just lose that motivation. Yeah, that, I mean, that, what, that downslope. The downslope, the downslope. Mm-hmm. So I feel like when a lot of people find that downslope, the reason they don't find it again or they don't find their motivation again, just, they, they don't think it's possible. Not only that is because they don't have the, the motivation that, that brought them there from the beginning. Mm. So I feel like a lot of people, they have to find out what motivates them and keep them close. What motivates you? What motivates me? Yeah. My family, my dreams. I mean, yeah. what motivates me is like, I based my goals from when I was younger, mm-hmm. right? So I always have like these goals I'm looking towards. If I don't have a goal, I don't feel like myself. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to say like all my goals and shit because that's a little bit too much. Facts, facts. But like what motivates me is I got to finish this task. Mm-hmm. Rather than, rather than oh, I want to I wanna be on the on the, the cover of magazine. I want to be like blah, 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 this and that, right? Yeah, yeah. I want people to think about me when this happens, right? Mm-hmm. I don't look at it like that. I look at it as like, this is my to-do list. Check off, check off, Where? check off. Rather than I want to be rich and famous, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like when you chase that, once you get that, that's it's over. Yeah, bro. Like I, I used to think like that, bro. Because like, oh, I, w- I want this car. Mm-hmm. I want this house. But yeah. then it's like, uh, I don't know. I, I'm not doing it for that. You know, I just want to complete like what I, I set out to do. Yeah, exactly. And, and I love being the underdog because I feel like my whole life I've been the underdog. So when mm-hmm. someone says like, yo, you can't, you can't do this. Or, or like a guy in my accounting program says, mm-hmm. oh, you'll, you'll never be like rich and shit because, because you're not set out for this. Yeah, yeah. You're not smart enough. Mm-hmm. That shit will just make me go even harder. Like mm-hmm. I, I strive off that shit. That's what motivates me, bro. Like all of that noise, you, you don't let that go to your head. Real shit. Never let that shit go to your head. Especially like the people that give you that negative energy. Those are the type of people you want to cut out of your life. Man. And people oh say that a God. lot, but like but it's they won't so, do it. Yeah, pe- people say that a lot, but it's it's really important and mm-hmm. you won't see the results until it happens. Yeah. Right? Because a lot of people 
shit, they'll keep like really negative people around them. Yeah. And it slowly, slowly it trickles down into them. And then you're going to see them decline a little bit. Bro. You'll see them feeling a little bit like them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it gets to you. Like, it gets y- to you. Even like that little, oh, you can't do that. It, it'll never become possible. Like long term, mm-hmm. you're always thinking about Real shit, shit. Like if you grow up with wolves, you're going to become a wolf. Exactly. Like if you if you, if you took a baby, raised it by wolves, it's going to yeah. learn how to hunt like a wolf. Yeah, yeah, it's going to yeah. learn how to bark like a wolf. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Even though it's, a, it's not a wolf, it's going to take on those tendencies. So yeah. it's the same shit. But but like before too, like, because I used to let all that like shit get to me because mm-hmm. my mom used to, my mom still does this. Like she babies me. Yeah. Right. But my dad will check me when he needs to check me. Right. He's mm-hmm. like, yo, yo, don't do that shit. Like there's, there's like a good balance. Yeah. So I'm yeah, grateful yeah. for my dad too because he's like, okay, he, he puts me like, yo, don't get that, let that shit go to your head. Yeah. Like, just do your shit, bro. I feel like that's that's when parents mess up is when they baby, low-key. Yeah, my mom still does that shit, bro. I was never babied, bro. Yeah, ever. I know you were. Like, yeah. no matter... If you fail, you fucking fail. Yeah. Like, they'll, they'll tell me straight up, you failed. Mm-hmm. Right? But a lot of a lot of parents, like, they come soft. They, they're, like, a little bit softer with their kids. And then when they, they fail, it becomes this huge deal. Yeah. It's devastating to them. Fam. And then that... You can't allow that. Because when it's devastating, they never come back up from a failure. Mm-hmm. You got to be able to take failure yeah. and then keep going. You know what I mean? And I kind of that from myself because um high school i was all straight a student right yeah but when i f- got my first like 70 bro 70 mm. I-, I came home with my report card yeah i started crying bro, Damn, and, bro. and i'm like and i look back at him like bro it's just a grade like i still ended up where i needed to be at mm-hmm. like no one's perfect in this world you know yeah but like the the thing is that i told myself okay yeah i can just i have enough like motivation in me that i can just bounce back from this but kids that are in that household who are perfect 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 everything mm. like i'm i'm i hope like they can muscle up because they confidence. get soft fam. they do they get soft especially like i'm not gonna bash I, on no, anybody I was but, that one guy. <laughs> but you know those kids that they get everything they handed to them spoiled, yeah they get spoiled when you get spoiled you don't learn how to survive on your own and then they're constantly looking for that like yeah. that crutch you know what i mean yeah but that, in that a way, binky type shit you know yeah. what i mean give, give me something to suck on yeah <laughs> you're talking like a binky you know what I'm talking yeah, about yeah, yeah, yeah the okay. pacifier pacifier <laughs> <laughs> no but there's people like that though there's people yeah. like that like they're looking for a pacifier to suck on because they feel like yeah. I can't do nothing without it you know what I mean but I'm, I'm glad I, I I am spoiled like I'll say I'm spoiled mm-hmm. but I'm glad that I didn't because every time I wanted to do something I yeah. asked my parents for money I was like okay I'm gonna just do it myself so later mm. I, I I don't have to say oh I owe you this I owe you this Word. or you put me on this or you put me on this yeah that's really important yeah like when I was younger like I don't even know if, if my parents told me this but I told myself this yeah I'll, 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 I'll put up a picture if I can find it but okay. I had like a I had like this this um this poster, you're supposed to like write your name. Mm-hmm. It's, it was in grade seven. You're supposed to write your name, write like your goal, what you want to be. And then like a quote or some shit. Okay. And then, oh, I think it was for graduation actually. You like, you like know, like, like the, no, the uh, elementary school. Okay. Okay. They graduate grade eight. Yeah. <laughs> so my quote was to become successful without help. Mm. That's what I put. At grade eight? Yeah. That's what I put. Or some shit. That's some shit crazy. like that. Yo, I, I like how, um, manifesting like we preach that a lot mm-hmm. and it is kind of real because a lot of the the really big celebrities have a cool like high school or elementary quote that yeah. said exactly what they were gonna do yeah, yeah yeah you know and it was like i don't know what kanye's was but it was like something oh i'm gonna become rich and famous one day boom look what he did mm. you feel me <laughs> yo because a lot of these like a lot of the celebrities a lot of rich and famous, i said this all i say this all the time bro yeah. they know the secret and the secret to the riches the secret to success is manifestation yeah. you got to believe in it yourself before it give it's given to you mm-hmm. i mean if you don't believe in yourself to let's say like make a basket mm-hmm. when you're shooting basketball right yeah you're not gonna make that basket even if even if like by a fluke like sure maybe yeah but the chances of you okay yo <laughs> they took <laughs> they, they took they took a person right yeah this is um this isn't a dale carnegie book mm-hmm. this is like some motivational shit yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they took this person and they told them um the, the pill they take will make them like 40 percent stronger yeah and it was a placebo oh. but because they told them that they were able to lift like 50 times more than what they would have lifted before without all, it all in the mind yeah so and then they took another group yeah. They took another group and they told them, all right, this pill is going to make you weak. It's going to make you feel sluggish. Mm-hmm. And they picked up the thing. They, they did less than the average what? because they were told that. 
Yeah. Because they were told that. That's cool. I didn't know that. Mm. But but there was this uh, Twitch streamer. You know Aiden Ross? Yeah, yeah. So he's like probably like the f- like the biggest Twitch streamer he's right now. He's the hottest out right now. Hottest, hottest out, out right yeah. now. Like whatever he does, like people will attract to it. Mm-hmm. He recorded a video of him in like 2016 saying yeah. all this. He's like, yo, I, I, I'm not going to stop at this shit. Like I'm going to be, look at my room right now. Mm. I'm going to be in LA. I'm going to be doing all this. And look what he did. Yeah, you that's know? what it takes. It takes you to believe in yourself before <laughs> others believe in you. And the funny thing is, I have a video like that too. Yeah, you made that? <laughs> no, but this was like 2018 when I first started my brand. Yeah, yeah. Because when I, I first like sold my first four pairs of jeans, mm. I was so hyped. I went in my room and I was like, all right, I'm a, I'm a, something's Yeah. But, but when I'm up, when I'm like actually up, I'll, I'll leak the video. Yo, y'all remember in the first episode, like I, I did the manifestation. Oh, yeah. That's proof of it right there. Our second video is like, we clipped it up, the mani- how I manifested oh, everything yeah, I made. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I'm not me. I that's that's all real. Like I'm, I didn't bullshit nothing. Like yeah. exactly what I did is exactly what happened. This is this is all still kind of surreal to me, but like because I wasn't in like the marketing aspect of this like podcast thing. I was mm-hmm. just like, okay, I'm a, I'm gonna hop in the podcast with you. Yeah, yeah. But now now that I've seen like all the success that we've we've kind of had, mm-hmm. like I, I I knew exactly what you were doing. Like, yeah, you, you had this plan still. Exactly, exactly. Like, it, was all, right? it was all perfect. That's why I told you, bro. Just come. <laughs> No, that, that's exactly what you told me. Yeah. But let's just run it up. Exactly, bro. But yeah, man. Shout out to you because I would have just started an OnlyFans. <laughs> man, I say OnlyFans. I'm Why kidding. OnlyFans? I'm kidding. No. That should make a lot of money, bro. I, I I think I wouldn't. Loki, I wouldn't do that. Yo, fam. I was searching up too. Okay. Because I got uh some horror stories of OnlyFans people. I, I saw this and I was like, yo, I have to tell this. OnlyFans? Only yeah, fam. What happened? What okay. Happened? So there's like this. Okay. So Shorty, Shorty is in university and shit like that. Yeah. I'm not going to name names. But she... um. She was doing like all her classes. She was working these jobs, right? But mm-hmm. wasn't making en- enough money to like, okay, pay for the classes, mm-hmm. right? So she's like, I was a cool way to like make money nowadays. So she started an OnlyFans, yeah. right? Okay, so boom, she started it up, started it up. She got a few cosigns from like cool, like really big Twitter pages. Yeah, yeah. Boom, started blowing up from there, started making decent money. So, you know, guys on OnlyFans, like they're, they're kind of weird, right? So, what do you mean? <laughs> nah, like, okay, so so in OnlyFans, you get DM requests. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so a guy they're was like, like a creepier. Yeah, yeah, like the creepier type. So a girl got a request and opened it. Yeah. She said, yo, can I have, uh, I'll send you $100 for a picture of you just smiling. So she's mm. like, I bet that's an easy bag, mm-hmm. right? So she did it. Boom. Next message. Okay, can I get your hands? Okay, boom. Can I get your, can I get your, like, uh, head all the way to like your you know what yeah and she's like okay easy bag then she like the guy started asking like yo what type of sdds do you have why like are you sexually active so boom she just exited the chat yeah right next day she comes back from school all lazy and shit she comes back to like a paragraph of a, of the guy saying yo if you don't send me all this shit i'm gonna hunt you down what the fuck? right yeah so it's so she goes outside to her apartment. And she's just chilling there. Mm. And there's a guy. There's a guy on the other side of the, the apartment with binoculars. An old oh, guy. Oh, what the fuck? An old guy. <laughs> and he, he's looking around, right? Yeah. So, okay. She just goes back to her house. She needs to get food. So she leaves at night. Mm. Starts walking down on the street by herself. I don't know why she did that. But the same guy with binoculars start, starts walking behind her. Mm. So she's like, what the fuck? Obviously, this is sus. Yeah. Right? So the guy's like, starts running after her. So she she starts running too. Mm-hmm. She 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 f- goes uh, near her building, like hides near her building. Yeah. There's another guy she meets. She's like, yo yo, uh, do you need help walking home and shit? Mm-hmm. She's like, right, I'm gonna go with you then. So this was the thing. The guy that promised to help her out oh. was the guy with OnlyFans. <laughs> Took her shit in the car, and, and that guy, that guy yeah. with the binoculars, was only was only Fuck. had the binoculars because there was a random car outside the building. So he was suspicious. That's why, and she mm. was trying to help. Damn, so bro, I'm like, bro, what the? F-? Damn, nah, cause like people like that, they they use tactics. Yeah, you know I me, mean? they use all the tactics in the book to like either put you in a position mm-hmm. in where you're vulnerable, yeah, or where they can take advantage of you. That's what they low key study that shit. Yeah, bro. I mean, so that's why a lot of people they have to be careful. You gotta really be careful. You gotta be careful when you're dealing with like, these sketchy characters. Mm-hmm. You know, well, there's more stories about how they have. Um, so they were DMing a guy. Yeah, and the guy would like have a video on his Instagram of her him outside her window. Wow, and shit like that. So it, it's mad how, scary. How did they find them though? IPs, fam. IP. You can just get the address from there. Oh, true. Like all your shit is really on. Um, on the internet yeah yeah like, yeah like you know um when i was young i was taught to always like whenever you're taking photos never set the location on because mm. man's actually like 
like follow that shit. If they see some like a little girl taking a selfie and the location is on, yeah, they will low key like like go and yo. You know what's crazy? What? You know um, you know on your iPhone where it says like thirty minutes to home or thirty minutes to like. So yo, what do you mean? I have like a routine schedule when I used to work at like uh the swimming place. I used yeah, to yeah. Like, right. So anytime I would leave the house, it would tell me it will take twenty minutes to get there before like. I even put it in GPS, nothing. Yeah, yeah. Like it just knows I'm headed there. And even yeah. on a day, like I wasn't headed there, it would still pop up a notification. Like, okay, it's going to take 15 minutes to get to your work today. Okay. Fam, I didn't put anything in to set that up. It just it did just that automatically. You. It's like, it knows where I'm going to go already. I, I feel like a lot of people have that too. Like, yeah. It, do you not have that? You don't have that on your Google? Your Google maps are like iPhone maps. Unless, unless I type it in, like you take me to this location, it won't tell me. Oh. Cause I think I turned on whatever, like yeah. all the settings and shit. Yeah. Siri automatically knows like I, when I go to the gym, mm -hmm. it knows like I was going to go to the gym before I, I put it in or anything. <laughs> it just, it just says like, all right, you're headed to the gym. Word. Yeah. No, nah, that's scary. What, what kind of settings do you have on? Bro? I don't know, but that's the thing. Like I, I comment down below if y'all have that. Yeah. Cause I know it's not just me. I know like it's a real thing. Like it's a regular thing. Yeah. Even, yo, even the fact that we're just talking to like Siri, it's mm. kind of weird to me. It's like, yo, Siri, uh, what's the weather today and shit? And she'll tell you the exact weather, like, by your house. And you know they're always listening? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, Siri, like, Siri and freaking everything. Like, Alexa, they're all listening. Like, even, even, look, hold on. When I say, hey, Siri. Yeah. Hey, Siri. <laughs> okay, there you go. Yeah. See, it pops up, right? Uh-huh. Now, for it to pick up hey siri oh, it's it gotta be listening all the time oh, so it's listening no matter what like it's picking up what i'm saying until it sounds like something i say is hey siri i just i just bagged that okay it didn't work that time yeah, yeah. Well, well you know what i mean I just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> unless you shout hey siri yeah, 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 yeah whoa i didn't really bag that you didn't know that right no like I, like okay now that you said that like i understand that that's how it works yeah. even with alexa it's constantly listening so here's the thing so i was I was out with with this girl one time and then uh -huh. we were like going to buy alcohol. Okay. And we were talking about alcohol. Like yeah. we we're talking about like freaking um well, well, Captain Morgan, mm -hmm. talking about Hennessy, I mean yeah. Hennessy, <laughs> talking about like all of these drinks, right? Yeah, yeah. Rum whatever. And then all of a sudden, I never got this before, but I checked my Instagram. I have bear oh, ads yeah. for liquor. I was just going to say that, fam. I, I remember I wanted a ring light one time. Yeah. And then all the ads on Amazon was just about ring lights. Ring lights. I'm like, wait. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't Google nothing about alcohol. Why would you Google about alcohol? Yeah, bro. <laughs> I don't right? know. I didn't Google nothing about alcohol. But I feel like it was listening and it picked up that shit like I wanted to buy that and it just so happened it popped yeah. it up. That happens with clothes too, like a specific shoe. Mm. Like like the direct shoe will pop up and be like, oh, it's 20% off on Grail right now. Yeah, it's, it's great. <laughs> Dog, what do you mean? Because <laughs> they got it down to a T. Yeah. Like all the the biz, the top businesses, mm -hmm. the, it's like marketing's low-key pay to win now. Like low-key they have it down. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so automated. Like they know exactly what you want. They'll put it right in front of your face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and so, it, it's just like it's just like fishing before when fishermen were fishing yeah. they didn't know exactly what the fish wanted but now it's like uh now it's exact it's like we're the fish yep. and these big companies that that are marketing their mm -hmm. products towards us mm -hmm. they put it right in front of our faces at the perfect time yeah. the right bait the right product yeah social dilemma fam if you've seen that movie it was like uh there's two guys they're, they're like uh kind of simulating what actually happens mm. so there's like one guy the the consumer yeah and there's two guys the the uh, so the social guys, right? Mm -hmm. And they're like, okay, he's done with this video. Let's see what he wants. Let's put an ad in front of him. Okay, he's 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 still like um, focused on the video. Yeah. Right, let's put another one. I right, go 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 right now. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's perfectly timed. Mm. It's so f to think about though. Oh my god. Yo, um, I remember I heard this thing about Google, mm -hmm. like the first people that worked for Google, yeah. right? They had like this code of ethics and it was like the number one rule. It says something about like, do good, right? Yeah. Do what's ethical. Yeah. It said something like, do what's ethical, right? Mm -hmm. So they're not doing that now though. Yeah. So <laughs> apparently they took out that rule of ethics. Like they took oh, out, yeah, they, they took that, that. It's gone. Like yeah. they, apparently they used to have it in their, in their headquarters, like on the wall mm -hmm. and it would say like, do what's ethical or do yeah. like good, right? Do for the greater good or some shit. They took that out. So in my mind, I'm always thinking like, imagine there's someone like, like I said on the Josh episode yeah. with ill intent, with like 
mind the mind to control other people the mind to like do evil i mean because there's people out there that want to do evil the dark web yeah you know Mm -hmm. and i searched up too like it's it's fucked up like okay i didn't go on the dark web but i've seen so many videos like they have dark web game shows you know what that is no so so you know like um game shows like big brother yeah yeah they'll have that shit on the dark web but if if you get eliminated, they kill you. What the fuck? And they have wipeout. What who happens with wipeout? I'm gonna tell you the story. Yeah. So there's this guy who. So in, in the wipeouts, you you if you're um a uh, listener, you yeah. get to bet on people, right? So this guy was like, okay, f- that I'm I'm gonna join it because mm. there, there's a hundred thousand dollar prize. Mm-hmm. He goes, he goes to the whatever, and there it's like in a f- warehouse. Yeah. Right. So the there's there's four other contestants. Mm. First obstacle, the you know the big red balls. Pause. Yeah. So they do that. The first person gets called up, goes, falls. All you hear, breaking of bones. What the? You feel me? The other person goes. That's like some saw shit, bro. That's what I'm saying. Break uh, doesn't pass it. Breaks bones. The, there's only two guys left yeah. that, that actually passed it. The final round was them. Okay, you have to hang on metal bars, mm. and and below you, if you fall, Shark Tank. What the? Fuck? And you know what the guy did? What? He won with hundred <laughs> oh, k, and he th- they injected something into him yeah. so they can uh, put him back in his house. And when he woke up, there's hundred k right beside him. What the? F- that's crazy, bro. That's that's really like some it's, some jigsaw shit. It is. It is. <laughs> like when I when I saw videos of him, I'm like, what the f- is this? Mm. Do you think there's like real super villains in the world? Oh. Like not not necessarily with like superpowers, but evil villains in the world evil villains. like real evil villains <laughs> are we in a like, movie like what i said before like dr doofenshmirtz <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean there's dr doofenshmirtz up there fighting like a platypus and shit. oh do you know uh, martin shkreli no oh you don't know martin shkreli who's that, who's that? so he's like he was quote unquote like one of the most hated people ever why so what happened was he found like a cure or a medication to help with AIDS. Oh, I seen this. Yo, I seen this. Yeah. So he found a medication to, to help with AIDS. Yeah, yeah. Right. And he ended up buying like the patent to the medications to the whatever yeah. thing. And he ended up raising the price yeah. like 200% or some shit. <laughs> and before it was like cents. Yeah. Marketing though. <laughs> like, do you blame him? No, but at the same time, it's like, fuck, people need that to yeah. live yeah yeah people need that to live there was also a story that um the, the there was like some cure with aids or something yeah. some guy had it but they killed him off oh shit like the government or something killed him off but and you know what else martin Shkali did what? so he bought um wu-tang's unreleased album once upon a time in shaolin you ever heard of that no. so he owns the rights to once upon a time in, in shaolin and unreleased wu-tang <laughs> like and he like fucking masterpiece it? and he gatekeeped it he kept it <laughs> He kept it, never released it. And then like <laughs> once once in a while, he played it like on live. <laughs> That's so dope, man. Because no lie, the most angry I get is when a rapper or artist plays yeah. some leak shit on his live and never drops it. And it shit. sucks because Wu-Tang couldn't do anything about it because he owns it now. Yeah. He owns, he bought it for like however how much fucking money. And then he he held that shit and nobody's al- nobody else is allowed to leak it. Nobody else is allowed to do anything. Well, here's what happened. I okay. think, I think he got arrested for something. Yeah. And... Right now, it's in the hands of, like, the U.S. government or, like, the police or some shit. <laughs> but why would the police just, just leak that for the people, man? No, because they, they can't. It's, like, low-key, like, evidence oh, or some shit. I don't know. I don't know if this is true. This is, like, some, yeah. some shit I heard. But going back to the, the super villains, I think there is. Because mm-hmm. what, bro, if, if a super villain hires, like, Hitman mm. to go after people, yeah, I, I consider you a villain. Because mm. why are you doing that shit? Maybe just the real super villains are just like the mafia bosses and stuff. You know? Mafia is scary, bro. Yeah. Have you seen um uh the JFK the JFK um call like before he died? Nah. Really? What's that? So like um before uh like I think this was in the morning, uh a phone operator got a call. Yeah. And and some guy was like, "Yo, at like ten thirty, I mean at 10 mm. I'm gonna kill JFK." What the fuck? Puts the phone down. Brings it back up and then he's the guy was like, nah, never mind. I'm gonna kill him at 10 30. <laughs> what the hell? Right? So so this is what happened. Like yeah. when, when they were driving down, mm-hmm. 12 30 uh central time, 10 30 LA mm, died. Shit. So like that shit's kind of scary. So it was him that called? Yeah. Well, who did he call though? He called some phone operator, like that that was like near, I guess, close to JFK. Mm. There's a lot of conspiracy about around the JFK oh, yeah, yeah. assassination. Because eh? it was so perfect. Yeah, like everything lined up. A lot of people say the CIA actually. Word. Yeah, I don't want to. to dive into that one though. Word. I'm scared of that one. There's a conspiracy about you. And What's the a government? conspiracy? No, I can't tell that. Chill out, bro. <laughs>
<laughs> I, yo, yo, I, have a, I have a funny theory. I have a funny theory. All right, go, go. Okay. So going back to Dr. Doofensmirch. Yeah. <laughs> bro. So there's this theory uh-huh. that Dr. Doofensmirch and Phineas and Ferb uh-huh. is actually the father of Phineas himself. Low key? Because he kind of looks like a bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like listen, though. listen, listen. So there's this one episode in Phineas and Ferb, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Phineas's mom <laughs> was actually out with Dr. Doofenshmirtz oh, when yeah. they were younger. It was in oh, the 80s. Yeah. They were in the 80s. And then that was when she was like Linda, like the singer shit, yeah, whatever, yeah. right? So they actually went out. So it was it was shown they 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 uh-huh. dated. Yeah, yeah. They dated and shit. Now, if you look at Phineas. He looks just like him. Phineas has the same head shape <laughs> as Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Yeah. Right? Also, Phineas is so smart, so creative, almost like oh. a mad scientist because he comes up with these crazy inventions, mm-hmm. just like Dr. <laughs> Doofenshmirtz. Yeah, yeah. So, so you think um, uh, Phineas's mom ha- had Phineas. Yeah. And then like Loki, he had like a little little side thing and had Ferb. <laughs> no, no, no. Because Ferb, Ferb was the, the new dad. Oh, Ferb is the yeah, new dad. Yeah, Ferb is the new dad. Oh, yeah. they're, not, they're not related, bro. Remember? Oh, yeah. Ferb's what just like f- stepbrother. So why, why do you think uh, Perry hates uh, Doofenshmirtz? You think you think uh, Phineas goes out and like sends uh, Perry to like fight him off? Nah, nah. <laughs> I think so. I, I think he's just a secret agent. They're like, yo, get, get, get my dad back, bro. <laughs> that guy <laughs> yeah but yeah but fucking Phine- Phineas and Ferb they come up with the craziest shit just they like they probably inherited the genius gene from from Dr. Rubenschmerz yo <laughs> I didn't even think about it like that right but yeah, yeah this, this guy sent me this guy sent me a video who uh, some some random fan yeah, of yeah. a guy um in the Denver airport it was so funny oh really yeah <laughs> cause he was like yo 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 guys I- I'm-, I'm gonna try and follow the construction workers yeah cause they low key probably know what's going down so he was following, following, right? So um, he, he took the subway, the underground tunnels with him. And mm. then he got to a stop because he didn't have a bag. But fam, the, way, the journey he took to get where, to where he's at, there was a lot of shit going on. Yeah, what like was he, going on? Like he had to take a subway. He had to go down. He had to walk flights of stairs down. Yeah. But he didn't have a badge. Oh, you feel shit. me? But it's so funny because really if, because uh, all he had was a, a vest on. Mm. So he kind of like looked like a construction worker. But mm. you ever know those ones, like the, those guys that snuck into the, the Super Bowl? Oh yeah, that's so sick, bro. Because <laughs> all they did was carry around a ladder, fam. That shit is so sick. Because freaking, they made like their own, there's some people that made their own like VIP passes yes, and bro, shit. that's so fire. You know what they did? Like, I remember there's one guy, he just uh-huh. took like a close-up shot of somebody at the event and then just like zoomed it in. Yeah. And then just like manipulated the picture to look exactly like it. That's fire. So he made his own laminate, whatever, VIP pass. Yeah. Made his own like camera shit, whatever. Yeah. And he was able to go in and watch freaking, I think it was the Manny Pacquiao fight with what? Mayweather. Oh, I think I seen a TikTok on that too. Yeah. There's so many different ones. Everybody yeah, yeah. finesses it. I know. Like even the Golden State Warriors game, mm. there was a guy who looked exactly like Clay Thompson and yeah. he got it. He drove through like the player's entrance. Word. Because, bro, I'm like, bro, you guys have got to hire way better security. Yo, look who we should have done. No, more like when what, the Raptors, like, the Raptors in the finals. Oh, low key? <laughs> that would be crazy. No, but they were on like high guard for everyone, fam. But I feel like low key, if you do it properly, you can finesse it somehow. Yeah, low key. Because I, I watch this TikTok. There's these girls that collect like um. You know those wristbands, the colored wristbands. Yeah. You know whenever you go to a water park and oh, they put like, well, a, I was just yeah, say, yo, <laughs> like we have those. Whether it be like Wild Water Kingdom, Great Wolf yeah, Lodge, yeah, whatever, yeah. they all yeah. have like different colored ones, right? Yeah. <laughs> so what they would do, they would just collect like hell of freaking yeah. wristbands. I know. No matter what, what day it is, because it they change it every day. Yeah. One day it's blue, one day it's orange, one day it's mm-hmm. yellow, right? So. Depending on the day, they just look, they take a look like, oh, it's yellow today. My Reach in the bag. They got yellow wristbands. Put that shit on. Yo, what, what type of wristbands you got on today, fam? <laughs> wow. I green. I say the last one. That's such a finesse, bro. I know. It's the biggest. And and um, there's this other thing these girls would do. They would look around the hotel, the hotel floor lobby mm-hmm. to look for um the hotel cards, like what? the room cards. Yeah. So they wouldn't like use it to get into rooms. Yeah. But what they would use it to do is to get into the pool oh, oh to get God. access to like the freaking resorts and shit. Yeah. So imagine you just have like a collection of fucking all of these resorts. Bro, imagine at Disney and you have all those cards. Like you can do whatever the fuck yeah. you want. You just don't go in the hotel. Bro, no cap. That'd be like the best date. You know what I mean? Like oh, take a shorty to go God. to like any resort you want. Yeah. Yo, what do you want to go to? <laughs> uh, lies? Like, yo, which one? Which one? I got the cards. Yeah, you, you, got, you have like a whole collection. It's like a fucking Pokemon set. You have like all the cards yeah. in like a sleeve. <laughs> 
that's so fire, bro. <laughs> Imagine, bro. Yeah, like e- even um fucking um abandoned um water water like places. Oh, uh, like what do you call those? Like if Wild Water Kingdom. Yeah, yeah. Like no one was there because of COVID, but it was still running. Mm. Right? Imagine just going there, having the time of your Yo, life. Yo, I saw this video before. These people went to like the abandoned uh, freaking like the water parks and shit. Yeah, yeah, bro, you know what they did? What they took like s- their skateboards and then just ripped down that shit, bro. Oh yeah, bro, that's, that's so sick to me. That's fire, bro. And even with towels, they did that with blankets. I seen like, guys because they didn't like they didn't want static shots. Oh yeah, so yeah. They, they ran down with towels. That's so sick, bro. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, where would you want to go abandoned? Like any place in the world, where would you want to go abandoned? Low key, I think a building like. You know the big ass Bass Pro in the states, oh, like Bass the Pro. the world's like biggest Bass Pro. Yeah, Bass Pro is like in Niagara, it's still big. Yeah, like that's just fire. I haven't been there. I haven't really? been there. Yeah, but yeah. imagine a, like a store like that. Yo, like even in Mall Cop. Remember in Mall Cop? Yeah. Like the whole the whole mall was abandoned, and he was yeah. just like fucking around in the mall. Malls, malls is cool, but like there's nothing to do in malls unless you have like a really like cool group of friends, and you can just play tag and shit. No, but then okay. Are we doing illegal shit? Are we doing? You know? No, we're doing illegal shit, fam. Okay, it, then, it, then you can like, like then you can like use whatever's in the mall. Like what? Even like- even like an old ass arcade, like with the bouncy houses or whatever, that would be sick. Yeah, true, true. I don't know. Would, would you want to do something scary, like go into some abandoned scary place? I don't know, bro. I would. Yo, this is what I want to do. I, yeah. I want to low key go into like those cabins that have like um those unsolved mi- murder mysteries. Yeah, low key want to like try and. God. You wouldn't? I'm not trying Ima- to do imagine that shit. solving that shit though. Solving it? Yeah, like like oh shit, there's a knife here. Oh my god, like let's report this shit. <laughs> you know? I guess but it's abandoned though, like so and it's happened a long time ago. I don't want to get no hauntings, fam. <laughs> yeah. I don't f- with no spirits. Yeah. That. But I would go into like um like not not scary, but like abandoned like buildings and shit. Like like you know those huge like office buildings? Like, like abandoned like, office building. That's Yo, scarier than cabins, low key. Nah, nah. So I I know this. There's, there's this thing in um. I think it was in Malaysia. I think it was in Malaysia. Mm-hmm. There's like this whole building, like a fucking office building, right? Yeah. And then it got flooded in the bottom floor. And what happened was these koi fish, <laughs> these Randomly? koi fish, like inhabited the whole area. So the the whole like lobby hole, like bottom floor. Yeah. Is filled with like beautiful koi fish. Word. Yeah, it's so dope. Kind of I don't know where it is. It might be China. It might be in Malaysia. I forgot yeah. exactly. But search it up. It's like a koi, koi infested like abandoned building. Word. So that's, dope. That's kind of fire. So dope. Where did the koi fish come from? Just randomly? I think what happened was um, you know how like when people get rid of their goldfish. They like put it in the, the sink the CF, or flush it, it. Yeah, it ends up in like the sewer system, right? Oh, yeah. So when that, when the flooding happened, I guess there was some like remnants of like koi, koi yeah. eggs or okay. koi fish. Yeah, yeah. And they just like breeded okay. and they ended up being like hundreds and shit. Yeah, some flushed away type shit. Yeah, like flushed away. That's sick, that's sick. But no, at the same time, yo, Loki, uh, Ripley's Aquarium. Abandoned? Or Marine Land? No, when there's still fish, but just no one there. Oh, that'd be sick, yeah. <laughs> imagine imagine just jumping in with them. <laughs> Would you swim with a shark? No. No? <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> okay, well, well, what if you knew, like, the shark wouldn't harm you? Would you swim in there? Okay, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah? And I would, like, latch on to his fin and, like, become, <laughs> <laughs> become Aquaman or some shit. Become, like, the little mermaid and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, okay. I low-key... I low-key want to, like, have a shark that I can, like... You know, you know like, when you go to the sea and then you're on, like, the boats and shit? Yeah. I low-key want to have, like, like a friend that I can call, like, a low-key, like, like, a sea creature. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, is, is, it, is, it, is it George in the Jungle where, he, where he's in the jungle he can, like, call shit? Is it George in the Jungle? I don't know, but I think it's, like... Is it Tarzan? It's Tarzan, the one that can call... Up. Oh, no, the, yeah, yeah. Tarzan, yeah, Tarzan. Tarzan and Aquaman. Yo, low-key... George in the Jungle. Low-key... That would be the craziest superpower to have, like, control of, like, animals and shit. No, that's fire. Ima- imagine calling the gorillas. I attack Because look, look at Ant-Man. Ant-Man has, like, controls over ants and shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, Ant-Man's kind of lame. Though. Yeah, I know. Like, see how lame that shit is? But yeah. he's still a superhero. Yeah. That's now imagine cool. you had any freaking, any animal you can have. Like, oh. like you can use, like, pigeons in the city to see, like, what's going on. No lie. I w- yeah, facts. I would do lo- low-key pigeons because that those are just drones for me. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> pigeon, pigeon number 54, what's going down <laughs> at uh, CN Tower right now? Yeah, real <laughs> shit. Real shit. Yeah. Or even, like, a, a sewer rat or some shit. Like, like a ratatouille type thing. But, but like, like, they what? can get into, like, crooks and areas and shit, you know? <laughs> but, like, a rat wouldn't give you, like, like useful information, you feel me? Yeah, it could. No, it wouldn't. Yes, it could. You're just down on the low surf- surface ground. No, but well, what if you can tell it to, like, go into, like, 
a secret building, like an office or some shit. Oh, okay. Right? I kind of see that. Imagine <laughs> that, bro. <laughs> or Loki just get a fucking... Imagine you had control over dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> you, one... Or... No, you're like, you're gonna be like those how to train a dragon guys. Oh, shit. Yeah, imagine like call the fucking uh, blue eyes or something, whatever he's called in the blue movie. Eyes. <laughs> and then you're just flying now. Do you think... Do you think dragons exist at the same time as humans? Yeah, th there's a theory that... Th you know how there's water on Mars, right? Yeah. Okay, look. What if we did live on Mars, mm -hmm. but we up the climate so bad that we had to take a pod like an escape pod to earth oh and listen 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 yeah and that escape pod was the asteroid that killed off the dinosaurs oh shit but now look this yeah. the same thing's happening right now we're killing the climate yeah yeah, yeah. now now that's it's kind of up that we're hearing uh, stories about alien invasions because mm. what if we just have to escape again yeah that's and then a good now, point. now what you said in that other podcast now the new shit is going to be robots mm. Yo, we're going to be extinct because um do you think we're not gonna live on earth forever no nah. because i think the earth's gonna die eventually right yeah yeah what if what if, yeah what if like you said mars was our was our earth before yeah mars was our earth before and then they they traveled over so and history repeats itself that's what i'm saying history always repeats itself look at interstellar yeah. remember interstellar yes, bro. like they were looking how to get earth away from earth Out, yeah. like get onto a different climate because it, the climate was destroying their crops, destroying all their food. Yeah. They couldn't survive on Earth anymore. That that shit's gonna happen. We're already what's seeing that. Right now, bro. We're already seeing that, we right? Have seven years, according to New York. Yo, what's the plan though? Like, what's Elon saying? <laughs> what's I the plan? Know, nah, real shit. What's the plan? Fam, low key. They gotta be making plans right now, like He might create a Tesla car that's just rocket ship, so everyone buys a rocket ship and then we all just fly out <laughs> in, in like all those units. What if? What if it's only? Remember that movie twenty twelve? What if it's only like the rich and powerful that get it? Right. Fucked up. It might happen like that, bro. It might, right? Because there's definitely got to be a plan somewhere. Yeah. Right. There's got to be a plan. I don't think. I don't think they would. They would just leave it like this. Like we we all know the world's like eventually we're gonna lose the resources and shit. Or, or we may not. We you think we, we may not? Man, sustainability practices, bro. We might have a chance to to fight back. Mm -hmm. Unless aliens just there's a completely different agenda for aliens and they just take that shit away from us. Yeah. Because you never know. We just live in that. There's thing. a lot of people that don't believe in climate change though. Okay, remember that picture you sent me? Which and then one? it was like, there's a crazy guy. And then there's there's the bottom of an icicle where it's like the the deep researcher, mm. and then there's another part of the icicle where it's like, uh, I don't know, it's like some next guy who knows everything. Yeah, yeah. And in the deep researcher, it was it was climate change, one of them. Mm -hmm. And we're me and you, we're just we're just the crazy guys right now. Like they they think all think we're crazy, but it's just Google. Yeah, you know what? Because a lot of people on online, like on YouTube, there's a lot of like conspiracy, like real. I'm I'm I guess I'm a conspiracy theorist, but not really. Yeah, but, but there's some real conspiracy theorists yeah. that do every single research they can. That's a real conspiracy. And theorist. then they try and like no offense. Yeah, they try and like freaking solve. lay it all down. Yeah, solve that shit right. Yeah. So, if if a regular person like me, yeah, for example, if I see him talking all this crazy stuff, we're not gonna believe that shit. I'm not gonna believe it because he's, he's taking it a little bit too seriously. Exactly. So there's low key there's low key like an art to to not trying too hard mm -hmm. cuz like i'm saying some conspiracies but like i'm not trying i'm not like yo this it, shit it is just real comes up in your mind yeah. yeah yeah i'm just like i'm just having fun with it i'm just opening y'all's mind yeah but if you saw like another person let's say i was like one of those conspiracy type people mm -hmm. Loki, no one would listen because they just deem me as like fucking crazy. Nah, to me, you're still crazy. <laughs> and that's to me. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? But imagine being in the position of the guy on the, the complete total, like you know everything. Mm -hmm. I think it's called like enhancement or like mm -hmm. the, the final stage where you know all these secrets to life. Yeah. Like imagine being in that position and you're trying to tell these people, but they're like, they're completely like, yeah, ignore that fucking crackhead. Yeah, bro. Okay, yo, mm -hmm. there's this crazy theory that the snow that we see today yeah is like artificial it's like con controlled with like chemicals and shit so take this in so this viral video that came out on youtube yeah. this guy took a piece of snow and then he was like lighting it with a lighter mm -hmm. and it started to burn it started to burn because there's some some elements in the snow that made it burn did it melt <laughs> no like it burnt like it turned black what so if it's made out of water if it's made out of <laughs> it's, it's, it's made out of ice yeah. it should just melt right yeah so why did it burn, like, turn black? Damn, bro. <laughs> someone someone turned on the weather machine? Bro, okay, now this conspiracy goes way deeper. So there's a link yeah. to areas with a lot of snow mm -hmm. and cancer. Okay. Like, I think New York, 
Toronto, like places with a lot Where of snow. Us? Minnesota, a lot of these places that get a lot of snow, mm-hmm. the number one cause of death is cancer. I think it's from the snow and the chemicals? That's that's what they're saying. That's, that's like the theory. Up. There's a theory about Doug Ford where he everyone is just on him. So he had to switch the, the weather machine. So it started snowing that one day. Remember that? <laughs> nah. He had to distract people with that. Nah, but shit, bro. Because imagine... Imagine that that something yeah. like that is real. I don't know. Do, do you think people can control the weather? Ah, bro, that that's I don't know. I think climate change just happens because uh, we can control it by doing like like not doing certain stuff. Because look, look, if if we can change the climate with pollution, mm-hmm. somebody can study that shit and figure a way to control the weather. No. Yeah, Loki. Why doesn't why doesn't the government? No, no, Loki. Hold on. They've got to be able to then. Yeah, because there's certain stuff. If not, they would know like, at least like ways to manipulate a little bit. And I think they do that though. They do that. You think they do that then? Yeah, they do that. Shit. That's Damn, crazy. Yeah, we're getting one of the I don't maybe they plan this, but we're getting one of the hottest summers this year. Damn. Do you think that's just because of, of what we're doing wrong? Or is that just because oh they put certain uh factories in, in this place to, to increase pollution because they want that shit or something. Mm-hmm. They want to kill off something. This is a little bit out of my like expertise, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> just pe- people look into this shit like yeah. actually. Yeah. But I w- I wouldn't be surprised. If they put some chemicals into the air, I mean, mm-hmm. or if they put some shit to manipulate the weather, because that that whole conspiracy with the snow and cancer, yeah, that's kind of like eye opening. Feel me? Isn't there a saying like, "Yo, the air hits different here" or some shit when you go like travel and like the air back home kind of is like, yeah, yeah. But, but like you go up to a mountain or like someplace else, and it's like this cleaner here, you yeah, know? <laughs> you know? or like e- even even my my cousins in in Chicago when they came over here, yeah, yeah. they saw all of us like, yo, y'all are so tall, and we're we're not even that tall, or, and then they're like, yo, what do you put in the water? <laughs> oh, we were drinking some next water. <laughs> yo, taking what's in the nestle? <laughs> did Did you know someone did like a test of of like tap water, Dasani, like all of these different spring waters? Yeah, what happened? A lot of them have like. Acidity, acidity of like oh, pHs. Yeah, yeah, some a lot of them have like toxic shit in it. Yeah, low key. <laughs> I don't drink. T- I don't drink tap water because it's like low key hella toxins. And then I saw this guy. This was this TikTok, right? Yeah. This uh, this Chinese guy, he bought this machine to like purify his water, mm-hmm. and he spent like five thousand dollars to do this, right? Yeah, yeah. And he brought up a really good point. He brought up a really good point. He, he's like, a lot of people say like, why would you spend five thousand dollars on water? Blah blah, blah right. <laughs> yeah. He brought up a good point. He said, I'm spending $5,000, but it's for my health. Yeah. He's spending $5,000 on his health. He said, rather than spending $5,000 on like clothes, shoes, yeah. luxuries and shit. You can live longer with, with the right water. Yeah. He's spending water. I mean, he's spending money on his health. So low key, I feel like I'm not doing enough for my body, low key. Mm. Like I, I see a lot of people doing really good for, let's say, um, their diet, yeah, yeah, the way of living, right? Um, The water they drink, mm-hmm. vitamins, supplements, whatever. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of people, including myself, we don't even... We don't even look too much into that shit. Yeah, because, yo, I was just going to say, like, when you go on vacations and shit, like Philippines, mm. Mexico, what's one thing that they tell you? Don't drink the water there. Mm. Or don't drink, put the ice in your water. Right? Yeah. And I'm like, wait, why is that, though? Because, like, aren't we all drinking the same water shit? Yeah. But, but nah, like, in, in Mexico, it might be, like, I don't know, infected with shit. Yeah, exactly. Yo, fam, the average teenager can probably name, like, 20 designer brands, but <laughs> could only name, like, three different vitamins. Yo, you know that chlorophyll water that's everyone's doing now? That trend? No. Nah. So, so you put uh, this chlorophyll uh, mix and you mix it with your water so it's green mm. and it kind of def- uh, detoxifies your body. Nah, I never heard of Loki, that. Loki, you should you should do it because I'm gonna start doing it because I heard like the benefits like you're more energized, you feel more healthy, mm. and your skin too. Yo, there's this um, bro, this one's a little bit scary. So, you ever heard of Doctor Sebi? No, never heard of it. <laughs> no, bro. So there's this guy that he was big on like um. It's not pseudoscience. It's like natural remedies. Mm, Huge on natural remedies, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And supposedly he came out with like something to help cancer, like a cure for cancer. What? With like natural substances and shit. What happened to him? Bro, he like dead ass got assassinated. Yep. Like, no, like for real. Like you can you can look into this shit. They killed him. Why? Why do they do that? Fam? I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. And Loki saying this is kind of scary. <laughs> it's an evil world we live in, bro. But shit, it's an evil world, fam. That's crazy. Oh, I also saw this thing how um dandelions, uh-huh. dandelions, the root of a dandelion is actually really, really good for your uh for your heart. Oh, I heard that too. You heard and, that, and, right? And there's one thing um I don't know what if you know it's lion's mane. Mm. It's like this edible mushroom. Really? But it's not psychedelic. It's yeah, like yeah. A, it's like a regular mushroom. Yeah. So it cures it like um le- you get less depressed. 
mm. and you and there's like some there's some branch of like I think it's like called neurophotics or something mm. where it's just okay you become more healthy you become uh you quick you learn things quicker yeah yeah, and yeah. shit like that and increase wow. increase of like brain memory my my mom told me this thing about like a leaky gut you ever heard of that leaky gut I've heard of it but what, remind me of what is that again? so apparently if you eat a lot of like um fast food like i forgot exactly what what triggers it i think it's uh i think it's gluten i think it's like certain allergies yeah yeah like your your everyone's stomach mm -hmm. we all have allergies right you know that yeah did you know the original humans were lactose intolerant too or i didn't know that yeah like the beginning of of humans like we weren't supposed to be drinking milk from a cow we like, weren't like, supposed like, to be like the caveman type guys yeah we weren't supposed to be drinking a lot of like People with peanut allergy, <laughs> Loki still have the gene of like the old humans. Like right. they didn't get the update. <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine cavemen just finding out that they're lactose intolerant. Like they're drinking milk regularly, yeah, yeah. and they're like, oh, "I have to shit." Yeah, so <laughs> we're, we're we weren't actually supposed to be eating like all of these different shit, right? Yeah, but yeah, we were supposed to be eating all of these shit, right? So over the times, I guess our body evolved. Yeah. And then we're able to like consume these different products, right? Okay. Yeah, because I don't have any allergies, but maybe. Yeah. So so there's this thing called leaky gut, and apparently there's a there's a huge link to having a leaky gut and anxiety, depression. What, is, what does leaky gut mean? So though? when you eat something, right? Yeah. Apparently, um, it put it puts holes in your in your digestive system. Oh shit. And and it kind of like it triggers things in your body chemistry, like your, your cells, mm -hmm. and it makes you feel different ways. Like these chemicals aren't supposed to be in, in the spots they go to. Yeah. That, cause a leak, like a leaky gut. Right. Okay. So in a sense, like it's leaking into other things. Oh, okay. So instead of digesting properly, it's going, it's breaking down your gut lining mm -hmm. and going into places it shouldn't be. And, it, and then that's what there, apparently there's like a, le there's a link to like autism and cancer oh, and like so many different like disorders so many yeah. different like health problems is one like adhd loki maybe i don't know that's kind of crazy bro and um there was this study before how i think glutamine or something it will it will coat like a lining in your stomach um. and you won't have that problem anymore but a lot of people they don't take that or we're, we're deficient in it Word. But it's not like common knowledge, right? You have yeah. to like look into this shit. Do, do you have any weird remedies that you do like when you're sick? Because when I'm sick, like you do the, you do the, let me, uh, do you do this? So like your mom comes with Vicks yeah. and she puts a cross on your face. Yeah, yeah, she put and, on my chest. And I don't know what I'm saying. And then, and then, my, and then my, uh, my feet. Yeah, the, the socks. Yeah, the yeah. socks. <laughs> you put it on your feet and then put socks on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Every Filipino knows that one. Like. And there's like some that other shit works though. It does. It that does. shit works. Or is that as low-key a placebo? No, no, no. I think it's the what do you call it? Freaking what, what do you call that thing that it makes it really cool? Makes it really cold? Like when you eat gum, it's like this menthol, right? Menthol, yeah. Yeah, I think it's that effect. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, there's this thing on oh, Muay Thai fighters do too. It they have like this oil they put it on their on their sore muscles. Oil, and it's the same effect like Vicks. Like it it yeah, kind of yeah. burns and it like, cools at the same time. Damn, athletes do a lot. Ice baths, you know the cupping. Yeah, yeah. I've always wanted to try cupping low key. I never tried it before. Because cup cupping, no, because cupping is like it relaxes all your things. And low key, I'm like hella tight. So like one time I'm gonna do cupping. Mm. I never even been for a massage yet. No, same. That's kind of weird. I don't want men touching me. No, just go to a girl. Yeah, I don't want shorties touching me either. Why? Bro. I don't know. That's kind of weird, bro. I, I I think I like I have a, a displacement on my shoulder like yeah. a long time ago, and it's still displaced. Low key, my back's been hurting lately, and you know why, fam? I don't know why, but I've been sleeping like this. Oh, you've been sleeping like that? Yeah. <laughs> well, I was like, okay, I, I want to become more adventurous. Let me sleep like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be like my idol, Carlos. So I'm gonna sleep oh exactly God, like him. <laughs> You know, man's do that though. What? Like low key, like there's like some super fans out there, like that idol, a uh, celebrity that like copy like day to day, like they. Try oh to be, like, yeah, I believe that. You shit. know that's kind of crazy. Yeah, man. there's people that will get the exact same haircut, like stands. Yeah, they'll get the exact same haircut, exact same food they eat, every single brand they use. Exactly, blah, like, blah. like you and me, fam. You always copy, bro. What? <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> what? No, no, no. But that's funny, bro. <laughs> Just thinking of that, yeah. like, really creeps me out. Mm. Like bro, what if what if like Uzi uh brushes his teeth counterclockwise or like at, at like ten seconds per per tooth and you do the exact same thing because you want to be like Uzi. But that's fucked though. Why would you want to live in someone that's else's what I'm light saying. like that? That's what I'm saying, bro. But I guess because in a sense I do that where I take inspiration from things. Yeah. But I wouldn't like live the exact same. I life. wouldn't live the exact same. That's that's yeah, weird. I know. Just be yourself, man. Just be be a follower. I mean, not not, not a follower. <laughs> be, a follow <laughs> be, be, be a leader. Be yourself. <laughs> be a leader. Don't be a sheep. You feel me? <laughs> no, nah, just be, be yourself. Cause look, if if you always try to like 
be like somebody else. Wait, at the same time though, look, listen, listen. Yeah. How do you know what you, what your true self is? Like, how do you know like, because we, we're so exposed to different things in the yeah. media. So many different things that we look up to. How do we know what's true to ourselves anymore? I think we are shaped. I don't by think we can know. No, listen, this is some dark shit. I don't think we can know anymore. Like what's, what's our true interest just because it, everything's forced down our throats. You know what I mean? Advertisements, all that. Maybe, maybe we're just building character, bro. Just from where our true self when we're a baby, but then all these, all these, um, what do you call this? Ads, all this influence on us. Then we just, that's, that's us to be honest. Maybe you can't really explain it, but the hardest thing to do in this life is to be someone else. Just be you fam. A lot of thing, a lot of things I'm into, I wouldn't have got into if I didn't see it before. Mm hmm. So is that still my true self? Yeah. I guess it is because I, I it was my choice to take it on. Exactly. But you, you know what I mean though, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't want to think about it like that because I'm like, yo, I'm not. I'm going to look at myself in the mirror. You're going like, to look differently, right? You're going to look I'm at like, it differently. Bro, do I really like this? But no, I, I've come I've come to like conclusions like, oh, I only like this because cause like a celebrity, I like this. You feel me? Mm. Or like, oh, I only like this brand because someone else wore it. You know? Yeah. But then I start to get in like, yo, what do I really like? And then I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, and then I'll choose something else. Mm, that's true, cause that th I feel like there's a there's a thin line. Like you can't really know sometimes, you know. Yeah. You don't really know sometimes, like, C cause what if I just did that? Uh, I don't want it. I don't want to like it, cause he liked it. Type shit. Yeah, never mind. Just to say it. Just to say it, you know. Just to say it, huh? Cause you know how? Okay. You know how even when when people it, it goes both ways for liking something and disliking something. Oh yeah. It goes both ways. Mm -hmm. Like if the majority of people dislike something, you're inclined to dislike it too. Yeah, look. Just like country music. <laughs> Yo, it's chill. I like country music though. No, but you feel me though, right? Yeah. Like a lot of people say they won't give anything a chance because the majority says that shit's that shit's whack, you know? So you're saying that we are controlled. Yeah, Loki. <laughs> nah, I'm not saying that we're controlled, this is not but such a you thought, bro. I'm not saying we're controlled, but look, look, look. It's like I have I have my own choice, right? Like whether I want to get into something, let's say yeah, yeah. let's say a sport. Let's say like a hobby right mm -hmm. but at the same time it's kind of like timing it was in my eyes when i when i decided to make that choice it's like you wanted to play basketball because your friends are playing basketball your family plays basketball blah, blah blah now they put you into let's say you grew up in brazil yeah soccer you, it would be soccer it would be different yeah so what do you think your true self is mm. is it really just your true passion inside because what if your true passion inside would have been something else if you grew up in a different area yeah low-key it, it really depends on like, it depends what's situation. in your eyes right yeah the situation you're put in like as soon as you're on this earth yeah because fam i could yeah it's that's crazy like, right that's, that's low-key crazy because because i'm a suburbs kid that's all i know suburbs even like the shit we see on tv right they put they put it in our eyes to influence us be yeah. like this be like this be like this right that's why it's important fam to like if your parents like put your kids through some good shit mm. just yeah. like just like my theory before with um our parents wanting like a like an average house like um like the white picket fence yeah. small family blah blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And then our generation is looking towards like influencers. We want to be like yeah, yeah. blah, blah, Everyone millionaires, an, Rari. An right? influencer, yeah. Now, just like my theory before, mm -hmm. that's what they were seeing on TV. Yeah. Our parents were seeing all of those like small houses and TV, full house, look at freaking oh. all of those shows, right? Yeah. So, and everyone wants to get rich in this generation, like quick, because like the kids that are doing it our mm -hmm. age are already rich. Yeah. But like the thing, like the biggest advice I could give is just work at your own time. Cause you don't gotta get rich at like twenty, like that. That's that's that person's fate. Mm. You go and do your work. Like, don't, don't stress yourself because or kill yourself over Kylie Jenner making this much money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At twenty five, you know, just yeah. do you. But at the same, I feel like it's a really good motivator. It is, but like if you get too deep into it, you might go down some path. Here's the thing, bro. Here's the thing. It depends how you take it. It depends on your personality. Yeah. Because somebody else could take that and they would they would use that as real fuel. Yeah. You know how much that would fuel somebody? Yeah, for sure. That would fuel somebody's whole life if they saw somebody like that. Mm -hmm. Imagine like, let's say you're a little brother yeah, to like your big brother and your big brother's like the biggest person in the world, like a millionaire, blah, 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 right? So you're going to have to. He's going to do everything in his heart to be like his big brother. Yeah. You know I me? Mean? Now, let's say the flip it the the script flips mm -hmm. and his big brother wasn't successful it wasn't like that yeah he wouldn't be as motivated i know bro so you can look at it different ways right you can look at it as like ah uh, um i can't be looking at all this shit i feel like i'm not bashing on anybody yeah i feel like the people that say i can't compare myself to those celebrities i'm putting them on a pedestal because when you say like 
I can't compare myself to them mm -hmm. is because you put them on a pedestal they're too high up there. Yeah. That's that's what that's the wrong way to think of it, right? Mm -hmm. Cuz the moment you put them on a pedestal is the moment you can never be on their level. So, yeah. instead of looking them <laughs> looking at them as like right or or looking at them as like the, the highest top, power. the highest the yeah. highest power. Yeah. You got to look at them Facts, as your bro. fucking rivals, as Facts, your peers. Bro. Because if you if you look at them differently, if you don't look at them as your peers, you're never gonna be their peers. Yeah, what's that saying? Um, work hard until my idols become my rivals. Mm -hmm. I always I was looking to that shit. Exactly. But yeah, you're you're the oldest, right? In in, in family? my family, yeah, yeah, low key. Because I I think I'm I'm kind of cultured. I'm not that cultured because I don't think I was put like I wasn't given a a big bro. Like low key, I always think like. Man, I low-key wish I had an older brother that I mm -hmm. can look up to. But now th that's why I'm I'm like this. Cause I looked up to like just man's like social media guys. Yeah. And I try to live this life, you know? Yo, some of my closest friends are fucking in my head mm -hmm. is like Joe Rogan and, and like all of these different yeah, bro, like, podcasters. Yeah. Gary V and Rogan are like my best friends because I, I listen to them more than I see other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> see, but I didn't have like but a, they don't know who I am, you yeah, know? Yeah, exactly. But I didn't have like a big cousin like you, fam. Like I really couldn't look up to anyone except for mans on the internet. Yeah. Like yeah, my yeah. imaginary friends type shit. That's true. So it's kind of sad, but like, hey man, we turned out. Well, you, you you make the most of our of how you get it, you know what I mean? You can, you can you can do that and then become successful. I feel I feel like the old the, the oldest in the family is always like you got to figure this life shit out by yourself. You feel me? And, Maybe. And, and, and I've always wanted to be a younger guy or like a how like be the youngest in the family cuz you can learn from the older guys mistakes and and like just okay, now I have all the answers. You feel me? I guess. I guess. I don't know. Maybe because I was I was born the oldest, I I don't I wouldn't want that for myself. Because I'm the type I'm the type that like I want to taste it, I want to feel it first. Where? So I learned like that. Yeah. Like if I don't make a mistake, then I fucked. Then then like when a mistake comes, then I'm fucked. You know? Yeah. Like I wanna I wanna I wanna eat an L, feel what it tastes like, and then I can go and and pursue what I want to do. Yeah. And next time an L comes, I know what that's like already. See, that's that's the different personalities between me and you. Because I would rather know what I'm getting into. I have the answers already and just go. Bro, I think the best thing in the world is losing first. Because okay, my yeah, first, is. my first, I told you my first kickboxing fight, I lost. Mm -hmm. Right? I lost. If I if I won my first kickboxing fight, I would probably look at kickboxing differently. Yeah. Like, I probably wouldn't have trained as hard. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But the fact that I lost, I took an L, I wanted to be better than myself. Where? Because Loki, Loki, if I, yeah, I get that. Mm -hmm. If I started Taekwondo and I lost, I probably wouldn't have continued it, to be honest. Damn. See, it, it, it just takes like, it's different. Yeah, it's different personalities then. Yeah. But but now I've gotten to the point where it's like an L is an L. I'll take that and learn from it, you know? Mm -hmm. So, because now I can easily take an L and just move forward. Like a bad grade, I'll just move forward. You feel me? Before, yeah. I would cry over that shit, bro. Yo, and you can take this mindset with everything. Yeah. Even with, like, talking to girls, yo. Like, the, the mans that don't, don't talk to girls, like, oh, I can't talk to her. Mm -hmm. She's too pretty, blah, blah, blah. She won't give the me a chance. The pedestal, They're putting bro. them on a pedestal. When you put them on a pedestal, that's when you don't do shit. Yep. That's when, that's, that's when you're too afraid to take an L now. Now you put it so high up. When you it's just like what we were talking about before mm -hmm. with um, sensitivity and being, like, spoiled and shit and being, like, babied. If you're babied and not and you don't get you don't get pain you don't feel pain mm -hmm. how you know how are you gonna know what happiness feels like if you never felt pain? Fam, those days because when you're up when you finally reach that point where you're happy mm -hmm. you can just look 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 what I did exactly I, I, I came from the dirt you feel look me? at Manny Manny Pacquiao came from the dirt oh Little, my god the his literal dirt bro his documentary was so good I actually like felt his pain yeah he he had nothing. Yeah, he had nothing, and I remember um, I was watching this interview of another woman, and her mother was like friends with Manny Pacquiao. Mm -hmm. She said she was so poor, yeah. but Manny Pacquiao was like even poorer. He yeah. was like he had he didn't have money for water type thing. But he got up and and, and look it. at him now. He's 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 a billionaire, right? Yeah, bro, probably hella happy right bro, now. Bro, bro, here, here's the thing though. Here's the thing. Like I wa I watched this um. I think it was his son's like vlog or something. Yeah, yeah. And it was his birthday party. And I was looking at his birthday party, hundreds of people. Okay. I'm like, damn, where were all these people when he was on the street? Mm. But I mean, I mean, like, not to say like they're good people, not to say that they're not good people, they but. Don't, so you're saying they don't. I looked at it differently. I looked yeah. at it differently. Like, they don't latch onto you when, until you're up. They don't believe in you until you're up. Yeah. Yeah. That's the name of the game, though. You can't really blame because. I don't know. I, like, I'm thankful for those people who bought my shit when I was no mm -hmm. one right now. But like, I, I know you can't think like that. You can't think yeah. like, oh, um, 
I'm not going to give love to you because you didn't give love to me before. Exactly. But at the same time, you still got to be like, you had an opportunity to help. To, you didn't to help. believe in me. Yeah. You had an opportunity. You didn't take it. Exactly. So I think that's a, that's a good note we can end off. Yeah. So that was, this was a good episode still. It was, it was. I will end it there. Yep. But yo, thanks for watching. Um, any announcements? My bad. Uh, no, the Discord is still up. Uh, go smash that like button right now if you haven't for this goaded episode. Yo, um, we're gonna do a vlog channel soon. Yeah, we're gonna do that vlog in the in the forest. Yeah, right? yeah, we facts, still gotta facts. do that yeah, shit. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. Um, it's March. I mean, it's May now. Yeah. So my channel's coming out soon. If you guys Let's want, go. You guys ready for nostalgia, nostalgia tripping? Nostalgia tripping. It's on. The, it's actually linked in the channels on our account, so you guys can check that out. Mm -hmm. Link in my bio too. Yep. Um, jumpers jump out. Deuces.